time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Paul Neat. Welcome, Paul. Hello there. So let's first start with football. Goals and assists from some of South Korea's national team players in Europe over the weekend. Yes, and starting with Son Heung Min, uh, who on Saturday picked up an assist, but which is 50th assist in the Premier League as well. It came in Tottenham Hotspur's 3-3 draw away to Southampton just before half-time to tee up Pedro Porro, who found the game's opening goal. But it became a game to forget for Spurs, as despite leading 3-1 after 74 minutes, the hosts found two goals, including a, a penalty deep into injury time. Tottenham boss Antonio Conte was scathing during his post-match press conference, calling his players selfish. Meanwhile, north of the border in Scotland, Oh Hyun Gyu was on the score sheet for Celtic in a 3-1 win over Hibernian. He came off the bench after 60 minutes to replace Matthew O'Reilly and scored his goal on 81 minutes to complete Celtic's comeback. All made it 2-1 after Celtic had fallen behind with a bullet header from a corner. He now has three goals since joining from Suwon Blue Wings in January. Some good news. But uh, it's a bad news for Hwang Yi-chan, as I understand. He's injured. Yes, he is, and it's forced him to withdraw from the Korean national team squad for the friendlies over the next couple of weeks. The KFA announced over the weekend that Jurgen Klinsmann, the new boss, had received information from Hwang's club, Wolverhampton Wanderers, to say that the player had picked up an injury. Hwang has already missed spells this season with a hamstring issue, but it's not clear what the injury is this time. No replacement has been called up, though, for Korea in Hwang's place. Meanwhile, Lee Gang in will be in Korea's squad for the friendlies against Colombia and Uruguay, but his manager at Real Mallorca, Javier Agrea, said that he and the Korean fans watching back home were to blame for the 1-0 loss to Real Betis. The game was played at 2 p.m. local time earlier than normal due to TV scheduling, which the boss seems to think is because of Korean broadcasters wanting to air Lee Gang In's matches. The game was played in the hottest part of the day, and the heat was seemingly seen as a factor for the loss. Right, and to the baseball now. The World Baseball Classic comes to a close soon. Korea are already out, as we know, but semifinals take place early this week. If yes, in fact, one took place earlier this morning. The USA beat Cuba 14 to 2 over in Miami. Trey Turner hit two home runs, and Paul Goldschmidt won. They will now play the winners of Japan versus Mexico, which is scheduled for tomorrow morning career time or 7 p.m. local time in Miami. The final will take place the following day, March 21st, local time. Korea, yes, they were knocked out at the pool stage this year, and captain Kim hyun soo said last Monday that the team's underperformance was down to nerves. He said that it was partly his responsibility as captain for not creating an enjoyable atmosphere. And moving on to badminton, uh, South Korea's An Se-yong has done something no Korean has been ever able to do for 27 years. Yes, that's right. At the All England Open in Birmingham, An Se-yong won the Women's Singles Championship. She defeated Olympic champion Chen Yufei of China 21-17, 10-21, 21-19, and this secured a first singles title for Korea since Bang Soo-hyun in 1996. Not just that, but the team of Kim Soyoung and Gong Hee Young on Sunday won the women's doubles title, defeating fellow South Koreans Baek Hana and Lee So Hee 21-5, 21-12. This then secured gold and silver for South Korea. All right, and finally, uh, South Korean figure skaters are gearing up for the World Championships this week. Yes, that's right. Uh, looking to continue with their good form from the four continents from last year, Lee in and Kim ye are in Saitama, Japan, where the 2023 World Figure Skating Championships will get underway this week. They are both in the women's singles event, which starts on Wednesday. Lee won silver at the four continents in 2022, while Kim won bronze. The World Championships are the second most prestigious figure skating competition after the Winter Olympics, and neither Lee or Kim have won a medal at this event before. In fact, Kim Gona is the only South Korean to have done so, winning gold, silver and bronze medals between 2007 and 2013. All right, thanks for the polls. See you next week. Thank you. See you.